In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a surface. So I'm going to go to my Home tab. If you don't already have it open, open up the last drawing where you imported the points. Okay. So I'm going to go to my Home tab, and I'm going to come over here where it says Create Ground Data. You can pull down surfaces and create surface, or if you're used to using the Prospector tool, uh, tool space, then you can come over to Surfaces and right-click. Um, I hop between using the right click button and the prospector and using the ribbons. So I'll come up here to the ribbon and go create surface. Now you've got different types of surfaces that you're going to create. We're going to do the 10 surface. We're going to call that existing. So this is our existing ground and what it looks like. We also want the contours to be background because when you're creating surfaces of existing data, you're going to either have a background style or a design style. When it's an existing topo, it's going to be background. Any new contours that we make that are proposed grade are going to be design. So I'm going to go OK and OK. Now what happens is over here there's a plus button next to the surface now. Now it says existing. So I'm going to hit the plus buttons all the way out from existing going out to definitions. We created point, point groups so we could actually bring them in. So highlight point groups right click and add. And we're going to add all data. Apply and OK. As soon as that happens you'll have these contours. Now if you don't see the dashes in the contours either that means that the contour data the the line type scale is too large and you can't see the dashes. So I'm going to go ahead and type in LTS line type scale and I'm going to go 1. You can see that it's starting to make dashes. Now, <clears throat> if you want to take a look at how this looks through the viewport, I might not be able to see the dashes here, but if I go to my site plan and I come out, oh, let's do paving, grading, and drainage. If I go to my paving, grading, and drainage, I'll see the dashes that look like this. Now, I'm going to type in LTS again, and I'm going to type in 0.25. This is better looking for our, our size, our design project. So keep the LTS scale as 0.25. I'm going to go back to the model space. The next thing that I want to do is I want to add contour lines. So, or contour um, text. So I'm going to go come up here to annotate and I'm going to add labels. Now you can either click and this dialog box comes up and you can go to surface and pull it down to multiple intervals along um, sorry, uh, contour multiple interval or you can also pull down the arrow and go surface, contour, multiple interval. The exact same thing. Now when it says pick first point, it's actually wants you to pick one point and drag a line across where all of these contours are going to be labeled. So I'm going to pick a point here and I'm going to drag it all the way across to the other side. Now it asks what contour interval. I'm going to go ahead and leave it at 300. If it's not what I want it to look like, I'll just undo. Okay. Mm, doesn't doesn't seem to have enough contour intervals, so I'm gonna I'm gonna change that. Well, I'll take that back. I'm gonna add a contour interval along this direction. So I'm gonna go surface, add multiple contour. I'm gonna pick this side and go this direction, and at every 300. Now that's looking a little bit better. Now when I do that, I'm gonna go back to my paving, grading, and drainage sheet and see how that looks. Not bad. I'm going back to the model tab. Now here's the other thing. <clears throat> I'm going to turn my properties on. PR for properties to get my properties box up. Here's my properties box. I don't want to see these lines. So if I pick the line and I right click, I, I'm going to say select similar. Now what it does over here is these are contour labels. This is the display contour label line. See how it says true? We don't want to see that. We want to say false. When it does that, it's going to come over here and be blue. Okay, now I'm just going to escape and now no lines. So I come back to here, come to back to my paving, grading, and drainage, and close that out so I have a bigger view. And it looks pretty good. Okay, remember this is a 50 scale. So I'm also going to turn off manage my uh, point groups. I'm going to go back to model. I'm going to come up here to my point groups. And I'm going to see how this has a no-show and there's that little symbol looks like a baseball plate with an exclamation. I'm going to update that. It gets rid of the uh, um, yellow symbol. Now I'm going to right click on point group and I'm going to go properties. Now if you didn't want to be able to see, if you didn't need the topo information, you can send the no-show to the top. 
it's like using the GIS in, in layer management. So I'm going to go back here and now it looks cleaned up. Um, go ahead and save your drawing out as a surface and we'll be using this drawing in our next um, project and, and we'll be creating a an alignment.